Hi folks, Dave here, and today we're going to address and hopefully solve what to do when your mini split is leaking. And what leaking really means is that the condensation from this indoor unit is dripping out of the ground. Condensation happens if you have like a humid day and something very cold. So if you have an icy cold beverage in the summer and it's humid, the condensation, the water in the air will collect on the outside of the glass. Same thing happens on the inside unit's coil of your mini split. The water that's in the air within, your, within the room attaches the coil and theoretically it should be dripping down in the drain pan and draining through the condensate hose. But if the condensate hose is blocked or if something in the drain pan is blocked or something else is going on, it's not going to flow. And so the first thing you probably want to do, you've probably seen some, well check out if you haven't, other videos on YouTube of how to use a shop vac to suction out the, the uh, condensate hose. The condensate hose is a semi-transparent tra semi hose that's running outside your house. It's not connecting anything. It just has the water. Water will come out of there on humid days, okay? So attach a shop vac to that. If, if that's the problem and you can suck through whatever's blocking the drain, uh, then you're, you're good. Although, Maybe you've solved the short-term cause, but the long-term cause may still be an issue, in which case you still might want to do what we're going to be looking at here. All right, so step-by-step. Uh, step. Uh, oh, tools. You need a Phillips or a drill with a Phillips bit, a flathead, even though one, this one's slightly bent, but should still work. And for this particular unit, uh, a um, what do we call this? We call this a... Pliers, a needle nose pliers, that's what it's called. <clears throat> and so, if you look right here, uh, many, this, yeah, this is an air spool unit. All mini splits, I believe, have this on the side. There's two little grooves on each side. Just pull those up, lift up, and then you are going to see three screws here in this case. We're going to take those screws out first. And then there are also screws behind the louver here. And the louver, this one has this, I think most do. You push a little thing to release the middle part, and then you gently bend it down. And there are these two tabs here that hold it into place. Uh, the motor for the louvers, on, and this one's on the right hand side. Um, set that aside. And then you'll see these little tabs down here, pieces of plastic that are covering the other screws. All right, so uh, take a Phillips screwdriver, get in here, and wiggle them a little bit. Wiggle it just a little bit. Uh, same with the other one. Whoops, that didn't sound good. Oh. That screw is already loose, so that's a gimme. Um, but we'll do this screw. And so your work's pretty much done, except there are also plastic tabs up on the top here, so you need to, you need to stand up and try and get at those and get those loose as well. All right, and so you're I don't know, we're maybe 50% of the way there. The next thing we need to do, this right here, it checks, it's a sensor to check the 
temperature of the return air. Um, so push that out of the way. And then you also have this uh, Molex connector here for the, in this case, this has a display on the front, so maybe not all of them have that, but um, you need to, has one of these annoying little guards to keep you from being able to do your complete your mission here but take this take a screwdriver or whatever to get this uh, get this tab off here set that aside and squeeze to release the you can't see what I'm doing but there was this uh, control um, panel here we go. Uh, these were connected. They're not connected anymore. All right, so now everything should be theoretically disconnected. And you kind of got to get, you got to clear this middle plastic tab on the bottom here. So make sure you're doing that. So look at what you're doing on the bottom there. But uh, this now can be set aside. And the business end of the drain for this unit is off to the left here. Um, so the, this is the coil. And when that's cold and when the humidity is above, probably starts at about 20%. 20% above, if you're at 60%, 70%, 90% humidity, more and more and more water will be dripping from this icy cold coil down to this piece of plastic, which is the drain pan, okay? And this one, you can't really see what's going on with the drain pan because it's insulated, but it's there. Um, this has a, a little metal connector here that needs to come off because that's what's holding on this condensate hose onto the um, drain pan. And so we're going to move that out of the way. And uh, this is where your needle nose comes in. Uh, you want to probably do this with a needle nose instead of with a screwdriver because you don't want to poke a hole in this hose because if you solve one leak, you're going to have another one from where you made your, after you made your repair. Okay. So. All right, uh, and conveniently it moved down to another groove, one lower. So that's uh, instead of falling on the floor, so that's nice. So how does this hose look? Does it look clear or is there debris in there? Or, by the way, this can also come off the wall here. Um, is this hose, is that going downhill? or is it going uphill? If there's any place that's going uphill in the condensate hose, that's gonna be a problem because water does not like to go uphill. So what will happen when you release this, a lot of water is gonna fall on the ground. And so you know your source of your problem is in this hose because uh, somewhere water is not flowing. And if, if water was flowing all the way through the hose, it would have gone outside by now, okay? Um, if this isn't the problem, then you can check out. And by the way, so this, this attaches in four spots out of the wall. There's two tabs, metal tabs up here. They're shaped like this. Um, I pushed it off of, I'm pushing off of one right now. It's still on the other one. Um, and it's off the, the th two on the bottom. All right, just to help you see what's going on. but. 
if you if this feels clear don't jam it too hard obviously but if it feels clear and if it's clean uh, probably it's not going to be if the water was all flowing quickly through this without an issue okay you probably have something going on in here if there's not debris right here at the at the um uh, drain of the uh, drain pan it's you're gonna have to do some more investigative checking that's beyond the scope of this video but anyway that's pretty much it it's put all this back together kind of do everything in reverse uh, and yeah thanks for watching